WoW Comics. Introducing Mary Marvel, the Shazam girl now starring in her own feature with Captain Marvel. Mary Marvel. Well, here you are, sis. I brought you over to WoW Comics. Welcome, Mary Marvel. Welcome to WoW Comics. Pinky and I hope you'll be with us for a long, long time to come. You said it, Mr. Scarlet. Thank you, Mr. Scarlet and Pinky. And don't forget to come to Mrs. Bromfield's Christmas party, all of you. I'll be expecting you there later. Mary Batson, Billy Batson's new sister, visits an orphanage. Now don't forget, you're all invited to Miss Bromfield's party tonight. Gosh, how wonderful! We'll sure have fun! Then returns to the home of Miss Bromfield, her foster mother. I do hope Mrs. Bromfield doesn't mind. I just visited the orphanage to say Merry Christmas, but I couldn't help inviting those poor kids to a Christmas Eve party tonight. Oh, it's Miss Bromfield. Uh, I mean, Miss Batson. Do you get mixed up too, Peeves? Since I found out I'm Billy Batson's sister, well, I almost feel I don't really belong here anymore. This is still your home, Miss Mary. Mrs. Bromfield would never let you go. I, uh, partake of the same feeling. Thank you, Peeves. Mrs. Bromfield, Mary's foster mother, waits inside. Mrs. Bromfield, I hope you don't mind, but I invited some orphan children here tonight I said they could sleep here and spend Christmas Day with us tomorrow. Mind? I don't mind a bit. I think it's very sweet and good-hearted of you, my child. Come, Mary, we'll go shopping right now and buy toys for all the orphans. Meanwhile, at a large toy shop, a certain clerk acts strangely. I gotta hide this toy band so nobody buys them. I don't know just what to get those orphan children. Do you have something like a toy band, clerk? Huh? A toy band? Uh, no, ma'am. We're all out. Cripes, if she sees these... Hey, what the... If they, they wound up, they're moving. And loudly blaring its presence, the toy band emerges from hiding. Holy cats! Wonderful, that's just what I want. Wrap them up, clerk. Aw, oh, ma'am, you don't want them toys, really. They're cheesy. They, they ain't worth the money. Besides, they ain't for sale. What? I won't hear of it. I must have them. I insist. That clerk is acting strangely. Why shouldn't they be for sale? I said not for sale. Now scram, you old hag, or I'll... Eeh! Oh! Oh, he's gone mad. I'll get help. Get help? What am I talking about? I almost forgot for a moment that all I have to do is say the magic word like Billy Batson. Shazam! For Billy Batson and Mary too. Thunderous Lightning answers the magic word, and Mary Batson becomes Mary Marvel, the world's mightiest girl. And now, Mr. Clerk, we'll deal with you. Who are you? Mary Marvel, and you'd better give that toy band to Mrs. Bromfield. She ain't getting that toy band, and you're getting this. But the blow means nothing to Mary Marvel. Huh? Say, you ain't any relation to that Captain Marvel, are you? What do you think? If you're a little in doubt, maybe this will convince you. And now a quick change back to Mary Batson before anybody notices. Shazam! Mary, where were you? A remarkable girl was just here who took care of that terrible clerk. She did? Then we can take that toy band we wanted. How can we ever apologize, Mrs. Bromfield? But I have uh, discharged that terrible clerk. It won't happen again. The manager of the store investigates the excitement. Spike, what happened? Where's them toys I was supposed to buy like a customer? Mrs. Bromfield's got them, boss. See, there goes her living limousine. Cripes, our plans went wrong. We gotta get those toys back tonight. December 24th, Christmas Eve. Poor orphans. I'm so glad they're having fun. And on this traditional eve of joy and gift giving, the home of Mrs. Bromfield is filled with the happy laughter of delighted children. That's what Billy and I are, orphans. But we're luckier than most being able to change to Captain Marvel and Mary Marvel. Off to bed now, children. In the morning, you can open your gifts. Santa Claus will bring them tonight. Good night, good night, good night. They'll be so pleased with these toy band players. Aren't you coming to bed, Mary? May I stay up a little while, Mrs. Bromfield? I'm not sleepy. I haven't read this for such a long time. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. 
Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. Why, why who's there at the fireplace? Thump. It's, it's Santa Claus. But what kind of Santa is that? Taking presents away instead of giving them out? And another form comes down the chimney. What? Two Santa Clauses, followed by more. Come on, hurry up, monk. I don't want to stick in this chimney all night. All right, all right, I'm out. These are the ones, the toy band players. Don't miss any. Thieves, disguised as Santa Clauses. Why do they want those toys? I'll find out. Shazam! Again, a crash of magic thunder and lightning that disturbs the nefarious four. What's that? Get your gats out. If someone's coming, mow him down. Him? What if it's a her? Holy cow, that's Mary Marvel. I seen her at the store. Well, mow her down. Look, the bullets bounce off her. As if crumpling tissue paper in her hands, Mary Marvel destroys their weapons. Stop making all that noise. You'll wake those orphan kids upstairs. She's only one little girl. If we all jump her at once, that's it, all at once. Oh, please don't hurt me. Please don't. Merry Christmas. <laughs> she used dynamite. Don't tell me different. Merry Marvel, eh? Every time I hear that name, Marvel, I get a lump in my throat or head. But she can't be as good as Captain Marvel. I'll show you. You see, if she was like Marvel, she'd still be standing after this wallop. <laughs> well... I'm afraid to look. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. We got the loot. Make a run for it. Silly boys, I can fly too. It ain't fair. Meanwhile, though the house is heavily walled, the sounds have filtered upstairs. Mary! Mary! Now to revive them and find out why they want those toys so badly. Oops, Mrs. Bromfield's calling. Mary! Did I hear some commotion down there? I don't want Miss Bromfield to know. It would spoil her Christmas. I'll change back to Mary Batson for a moment behind this curtain. The magic lightning is muffled by the curtain. Shazam! Nothing's wrong, Mrs. Bromfield. I, er, uh, just knocked over a lamp. Then I'll go back to sleep. Don't stay up too late, Mary. But as Mary Batson makes her way downstairs again, ha ha, we got this brat. She's a, uh, uh, oh, the thugs came too. Events take a grimmer turn. Mary Marvel's gone. Now is our chance to skip. But this brat's a witness, so I'll take care of her. Sudden interruption at the fireplace. We're going to give the orphan kids a real treat. Hey, look, something's going on. One of the new Santas reveals himself as none other than Captain Marvel. Mary Batson in trouble. Here goes. Tut, tut, that's my kid sister, pal. Yelps. The other two Santas are Mr. Scarlet and Pinky. Let's get in this, Pinky. Why not? Merry Christmas! Captain Marvel, meanwhile, loosens Mary's gag. I'm ashamed getting caught. Let me handle the last one myself. Shazam! Sure, go to it, sis. Once more, Mary Batson calls upon her other self, Mary Marvel. Just so you men don't think a girl can't do just as well. Bravo, good stuff, Mary. One of the toys broke. Look. A jewel in it. So that's it, jewel smugglers. The man in the store was to slip jewels past the police, hidden in toys. But they didn't slip them past you, Mary. I'm proud of you, sis. Thanks for the help, Mr. Scarlet and Pinky. Mighty glad to have helped you, Mary. And we ain't kidding. But now the whole household is awakened and... Golly, it's Captain Marvel. And Mr. Scarlet and Pinky. And Mary Marvel. Heavens. They won't sleep anymore tonight. 12 o'clock. It's Christmas Day. So, folks, there's just one more thing to say. Merry Christmas.